All right, everybody, welcome back. We are back today. Um, they ran the jegs and got the fuel cell and some other parts that we needed. And we're gonna get ready to put the center chunk in and get our converter fixed, or Jeff's gonna mill it and make it right. And Billy's here to help today because we have to get that transmission back up on the jack when we're all done. And that's gonna be very hard, so we need some muscles. But hopefully everything goes smoothly and uh, we can finally get this thing on the ground tonight. That's the goal. 373 for now. Maybe a good cruising gear. <laughs> That's why I run the truck. Is it? Yeah. It won't be too bad since it's a really speed. Probably yeah. Go, probably go through in second gear. Do they? In the eighth, yeah. Oh, in the eighth. Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if you should make it through in second gear. I don't know. I remember... We'll find out. Well, you always got in high gear before 8th mile, didn't you? Yeah. All the way it was, you were getting in high gear before 8th? Yeah. Yeah. But I, yeah, I, I guess you're not about, revving it very high. I thought it was about 500 feet. I'm just pulling high gear. Gotcha. Okay. You ready? <laughs> oh, this bitch is heavy. <laughs> yeah. Oh. All right. No, because I'm trapped under here. I can use the lift. This thing's how you get in there. Look. Billy brought up the sore subject talking about lock, lock washers. Washer. Yeah, I told him the other day not to speak on yeah, I mean, that topic. Use a lock nut. Honestly, He's still going. Lock washers only work like once. So like, <laughs> uh, you know, I don't remember. I honestly don't remember. I don't think it was that high. Maybe 35. Maybe 35. So. You want to remember to try not to drag across that seal as much as possible. So you want to kind of just center it as you go through there. Now you're going to, this time you're going to end up hitting the differential. Right about there. Feels it. So now you got to put the nose up. You got to aim the nose up. And you're going to have to turn it. Oh, there you go. Line up the spines just like that. Push. You're not going to hurt anything. Alright, kid. Let's go ahead and line her up in there. That's awesome. Oh my gosh, that's tight. That <laughs> barely fits. I wish, I don't understand why they don't put the sending unit and the pump side by side. Like, that's just, doesn't make any sense to me. It's common engineering. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.
glad we did it. Here we go. Oh boy. This never gets old. <laughs> I've done this so many times, I have. Do it in your sleep. I've honestly lost track. Who's counting? One. Well, that seal is tight. Good. It's really tight. I mean, it's like really tight. Oh my gosh, I can't even cover her out. It's so tight! Well, we'll know if it's at 2.8 centimeters. Yes. Then. Hey. Hey. <laughs> or an inch and an eighth. Whatever. Eighth. Great, now we can't get the converter in. you my Tim Hortons tape measure. <laughs> <laughs> you can check. What number would you like to see? 2.8 centimeters. <laughs> 2.875. Hang on, let me get a 13 millimeter wrench. <laughs> hey. hey. <laughs> what are you talking about? The boot. Okay. Okay. Two. I don't. I don't. Ah! Oh, there it is. Ah. <laughs> yeah, this was all we had to measure from, if you remember. Right? It was was these. Okay. 2.87. Yeah. Woo! Whatever. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Calm down there, Sally. Why is it doing that? Something's wrong. Okay. It's fine. It's, it's fine. fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Your transmission jack is looking like it's seen better. Look at this thing. What are you talking about? Look it's at it. It's wobbling back and forth. You know what? You're wobbling back and forth. Look at it. So, okay, here's the deal. All right, um, the engine is, so they're they're like this right now. Mm -hmm. So the engine is way nose down and the, so the transmission is basically up. flat. The engine needs to let the engine down a little? No, the engine actually has to go up. Okay. And I don't know that it will. I honestly, I think it's maxed out on the engine mounts. Um, mm. So what I had to do before, I had to wedge the, yeah, this is where, this is where it gets tough because that. I don't know, I, I, I'm scared because it just gets tight. Okay. Well like I, it'll start threading in and it just gets tight. Yeah, it's because they're on slightly different angles. Starter before. I don't know. Whatever. Look, all I know is this thing spins. I'm tightening another one up. Is that all right? Am I good to go ahead and tighten all these up? You're ready to go for launch. I'm gonna tighten these. They didn't trap a vacuum line inside of the. I just wanna make sure that. So I'm gonna go ahead and. Oh, yeah, never mind. It's against the bell. I just wanna make sure they all get started before any of them get tight. Never, yeah, I think we're good. Never tighten these before they're all started. Pro tip. Look. Revel in its glory. It's <laughs> pretty impressive. How about, oh, um, yes. I think that's one of the... I think I need you to make me one. <laughs> Look at this. Look. It's in. This doesn't this look right. Spin. This doesn't look right. Yeah, it spins. Shouldn't this be up there? 
This didn't fall off from the... Oh, it did. Oh my god, it's got to go on that little... Yeah. Can you get it there? Oh my god, it has to. It had to go through there, didn't it? <laughs> it's going to be too short. What? It'll probably, it'll probably be too long, if anything. If the pinion sticks out longer on a 9 inch. It looks short to me. Oh my gosh. I mean, you got it way far past the. Oh, there you go. It's going to be like right there. Oh, <laughs> it's way long. Okay, well, that's what we're at here. So, there you go. So, go to the center of the dry sheet. Uh, 60. About 60. Are you on the tail shaft? Yeah, I'm at the seal. Okay. It's 60. <laughs> It's 61 and a quarter. Right, All right. Yep. Measure the center of that U joint. What do you get? 58 and a half. What do we measure? 61 and a quarter. Pretty sure it's what you measured. So, how is that? What? This is 58 and a half right here. Let's just try to put it in and see what happens. Yes, it is. Fine. I'm short. Oh, Tommy's right. <laughs> <laughs> Can I, so it needed to be length in what? 58 and a half to 61? 61 and a half. Alright, well, I know. Well, now you have to get a new drive shaft. Sure do. That's surprising. But you move the rear end back, to it, right? Yeah, an inch and a half. So that, that for sure makes a difference. But I thought a, I thought the I thought uh, the I thought a nine inch though it stuck out further. Yeah, I thought that yoke would be way further out. And it's three inches short, ish. Three ish. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm not measuring. Cool. I don't know, man. It so looks short. <laughs> Tommy was right. Time for the win. See, look how much better this lens looks. It doesn't really do me any justice. It makes your hair look kind of blonde. I wouldn't say blonde. More like brown. It's a joke, because you dyed your hair blonde. You didn't dye it blonde. Yeah, you did. It's blonde. It has highlight. It's a oh balayage. Oh my, so specific. All right, guys, <laughs> so it is, what's today, Wednesday? Today's Wednesday. We are back here yes. at Jeff's garage. And is, today is the day that we finally get to put this thing on the ground. Are you excited? I am so excited. It has not moved off those jack stands the entire winter, probably three or four months now. It has been sitting in the same spot on the jack stands. I can't wait to see it like actually on the ground and see how it actually looks again. Yeah. I'm so used to it being high up. And right, like I think the stance is gonna look really good with them jeg spikes. Yep. I'm really excited, I'm really excited. Just step closer, yep. <laughs> big step closer. All right, let's get this thing on the ground. Ready, Jeff Lepo. What are you doing, Jeff Lepo? Jeff Lepo. He does it, your dad does it so well. I don't know how. Oh no. Help. Oh. Oh no. Hang on, I'm, I'm coming to your rescue here. Stop, boy. <laughs> Leave me alone. If you have pollen allergies, leave a like on this video. <laughs> if you can relate to me right now. If you are dating someone with pollen allergies and you are sick of seeing snot every single day. Toilet paper, roll, toilet paper rolls in every room, getting up every hour of the night, blowing my nose. <laughs> oh, by the way, I just got done with my blazer raffle. Congratulations to Josh Watson. He is getting my crown jewel. <laughs> so no more blazer content. Sorry for all the people that wanted me to LS swap it. And I think it's condolences. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay. Nice jack stand. I wonder who got you this. Tommy, did there a Christmas present? <laughs> there you go. Plus, I want to go slow just to make sure everything's going to be alright. Oh, you're fine. Let me get it. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to make it suspenseful. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, it is on its rear wheels. Jeez, we're about to be maxed out. Yeah. yeah. yeah you're maxed out. Yeah. Back down there, Kimo Sabi. So that's what it's going to look like when uh, we start doing wheelies. Correct. We're done. She just giving you a hard time a second ago? Yeah, she was. Let's check. That's the already leg on that. Transmission lines which have not been connected. Much lower. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. Look how much higher it is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that looks bad. That looks good. We roll it outside. No. No. I have to get a thumbnail picture. The shifter linkage is hanging on the ground and we just have ties them up. I'll do it if it, that means we can get a picture of it outside. Well, we can't. Yeah, you gotta straighten it before we get off of this concrete. Okay. stopping this car why am I the only one <laughs> putting any effort in keeping this thing rolling in the yard all right keep going that's good that's good I'm just a film crew thanks <laughs> yeah. it's out. Yes, it's... you've upgraded from shop supervisor to camera woman <laughs> wow what your garage look like? Oh my hey, gosh, look, it's outside. <laughs> you dropped something. Dude, that looks good. Oh. <laughs> oh, we <laughs> left our drive shaft. You dropped something. <laughs> I think it needs a wing for whenever it goes fast. Yes, let's make it longer. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> no, it's the goal. Sure. Look at it from the back. That's a lot of fire. That's a lot of tire. They look good. It looks I like it's set up high. I can't wait to drive this thing down the track. Okay. As the car's aimed downhill, it looks like it's sitting up in the back. It's really not. Well, and the bumper's not on. So. Dude, that looks freaking sick. <laughs> So the final thoughts, conclusions? I'm happy. Me too. What do you think, Jeff? Uh, I like the way it sits, I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and on that note, um. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Can you tell us my dad? <laughs> just... And on that terrible disappointment. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> so let's go over everything we've done up to this point. Obviously the new grill looks really good. The 68 grill with the round uh, markers. It looks really good. We got the fiberglass front bumper. We have gotten rid of all of the QA1 rear suspension and relocation kit. Oh, relocation kit. The Mosier Ford 9 inch, which we just put in. I'm sure we're going to have a lot of new people watch this video, but just to catch everybody up. Weeks of converter issues. Weeks of converter issues, yeah. We switched cage. our converter. A cage. Partially in. Yeah, the door bars are going in later. Uh, he's just going to finish wiring. Still got a back seat. I'll probably be the last one to ever be in there. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't know. How you, how you getting this trunk? Oh, yes. The most important part, most important thing that he has done. The bill lever. Ooh, that's cool. Oh, oh, there's a nitrous kit back here. Get the battery relocated. Custom on off switch. Mm -hmm. Oh, what are these 68 tail lights? I can't no, remember. 69, 69 tail lights. The last ones had seen better days. We still got to find a rear bumper. Um, what else have Fires, we done? Wheels. New wheels and um, 275 radials. A lot of cosmetic stuff happened off camera too. Oh my happen. God, there was so many rust holes that Jeff fixed and welded. And I mean, you can't even tell anymore. There was a lot of this stuff back here. There was, there was holes here down the sides, down here. Jeff added these uh, other, mar well they're not marker lights, but running lights. Oh yeah. This, uh... Those are gonna, it's, it's all the little things that he's done that's gonna make this thing look perfect. Oh. But yeah, we're really happy with how it all turned out. Yeah. Well, we're not done yet. Still got work to do, but work. this was a big, this is a big, this was like a, so much work and not seeing results yet. And now finally we have seen some results and it seems like everything has been worth it, I guess. I can't Maybe wait not to be driving dad, this car again. <laughs> yeah. I can't wait to see how it's going to drive. So huge thank you to her dad, Jeff, for um, helping us out with a lot of this stuff and teaching us thus far. We've learned a lot so far. There's a lot more to do still. But I'm really happy with how this winter turned out. We had a lot of good times. Yeah. But uh, it's nice to finally see some results uh, from our work that we've done. And huge thank you to everybody else who's helped. Bill, Billy, mm -hmm. um, Melling sent us some stuff. Even though we haven't mm -hmm. used that yet, it was yep. still like... There's been a lot of people lot of in the background that have helped. Craig. Oh yeah, big Craig. Friend Ray, who wasn't on camera and was really upset about it. Yeah, well, <laughs> the transmission fell off the jack and... Uh, Ray just lifted it up himself. Ray just, you know... You know, muscled it up. Under yeah. the car. Anyways, but yeah, so... So thankful for everybody who's helped yeah. this, this There's car There's been a lot, of, a lot of stuff happened that's been off camera or people that have been in the background helping every step of the way, but... So thank you guys for watching. You guys have also helped to make this happen. Yes. Um, our channel's grown astronomically. That's since a big word car. for me. This, this, the channel has grown a lot since this car has been around and a lot of people, a lot of good fans, um, a lot of people that we've met uh, in real life, everybody's super nice and kind to us and we have a lot of good supporters. So I appreciate that. Definitely. And my favorite is when people who are also starting out reach out to me and talk mm -hmm. to me for a bit. That's my favorite. Mm -hmm. Cause that's what I really wanted to do with this channel was be a voice for somebody who also doesn't, is yeah. learning. Yeah. We don't judge. Yes. Absolutely not. I don't. Unless if it's Jeff. Jeff kind of judges. <laughs> Just as us mainly. Yeah. Pretty much. All right. So thank you guys for watching. Oh. Did you have something to say Jeff? What? Yeah. Jeff, look at your garage. There's a garage here. <laughs> Look, there's for a car that's been sitting for so long, no, no stains. How is that possible? Because we cleaned it all up. Because <laughs> the only time Mopars leak is when they have a Chevy transmission in them.